And we do get promoted for our good hard work and our loyalty. And we might get promoted one, two, three times. And then we hit the mid-career stall out. Look at most, I won't say every, but I haven't seen one that doesn't fit this. You will see equal, equal male-female coming into the workplace, getting promoted, and then they get to that mid-career level and it, the numbers fall apart. And by the time you get to the top, this is what it looks like. 14% women in executive officer positions. That's C-suite and one level down, okay? I just told you, 16% women on boards, 19 out of 500 Fortune CEO, CEOs are women. I happen to think these numbers are pitiful, and I'm just shocked. So what I'm asking for, we gotta double these numbers to get where we need to go. This is all information from Catalyst, the not-for-profit research group on women in the workplace. I hate to tell you, the numbers don't, haven't changed in about four years. They have not gone up dramatically. So we are not making the progress that we want to. What's going on here? We used to think they just didn't have enough of the right skills, or that it was the activities, or was it the book of business. But we know it's about our thinking. It happens all up here, right? Yes. Let me tell you. If your limiting belief is, I can't make it where I want to go, that will happen for you. And so many of us hold ourselves back. You know, who do I think I am to take that promotion? Or why do I think I can do this? And these little self-doubts and limiting beliefs, voices in our head, whatever you want to call them, stop us from doing some of the very things that we ought to do. This rule is about two things. It's about being selfish for yourself and taking good care of yourself. And it's also about being willing to take time to be strategic about your career. I coached a woman who every Sunday night sat down and evaluated her week based on her goals. And on a sheet of paper, she had everything she was trying to accomplish, including family things, corporate things, everything she was trying to do. And she would ask herself, did I do anything last week that moved any of my goals forward? Did I do anything to make progress? Now, I think every Sunday night's a little much. But are you evaluating? Are you getting where you want to go? I'm asking you to, to, to not think about it as, I'm either focusing on everybody else or it's all about me, 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 and I'm a narcissist. I want you to look at it in the middle. I am a natural nurturer. Accept that about yourself. Now, how am I going to moderate what I do so that I have time for myself? Every successful woman who in corporate America has made it to CEO had to be a little selfish for themselves and had to ask for help. Be willing to ask for some help. We're so afraid to do that because we think it'll make us look weak. And the reason we say project personal power, if you are passionate about what you're doing, then talking proudly about what you do is not bragging or arrogance, it's passion. It's I love what I'm doing. Coaching is a fabulous, career for me. Never thought I'd love my first career as I did this career of coaching. I'm what I say is not bragging if it's the truth. 